Hi, I'm Mike from Craft Supplies USA, and today we're gonna turn a safety razor kit in a matching stand. Here at Craft Supplies USA, we offer a large selection of premium quality razors, stands, and brushes in gunmetal and chrome finishes. Depending on your needs, we have razor kits for the Gillette Mach 3 and Fusion cartridges, as well as the classic safety razor blade. And our brushes are made with genuine high-grade badger hair. All of our razor kits and stands feature a threaded rod design, allowing you to disassemble the components for cleaning and refinishing, as well as trimming them to a shorter length. For today's project, I'm going to turn a safety razor kit and a stand, and don't worry if you have one of the other projects because they turn the exact same way as well. For today's project, I'm going to be using acrylic blanks because they're impervious to moisture, and if you use a wood blank, make sure it's a dense exotic or it's been stabilized. As far as our supplies go, we'll just need our blanks, the razor kit and stand, a 7mm drill bit, a barrel trimmer, bushings, and some standard pen making supplies. Before we start, I'd like to mention that all the supplies used in the video will be linked in the description below. Now let's start by marking the blanks about a quarter inch longer than the brass tubes, then cut them on the bandsaw. Now I'll be using a set of pen drilling jaws so I can accurately drill on the lathe, but this step can also be done using a drill press. With the lathe speed set at about 750 RPM, drill a 7mm hole completely through the blank. Making sure to clear the chips frequently. Repeat this step for the other blank as well. Now we'll prep the tubes for gluing by scuffing up the brass tubes with some 220 grit sandpaper so the glue will adhere better. Now apply some thick CA glue to the brass tube and insert it into the blank, twisting it as you go to spread out the glue. Spray some activator onto both ends of the blank to cure the glue, and then repeat these steps on the other blank and we're ready to barrel trim. Using a vise to safely hold the blank, barrel trim both ends of the blank until the brass shows. Once the blanks have been barrel trimmed, let's go to the lathe and prepare for turning. I'll be mounting a pen mandrel and a collet chuck for the most accuracy, but your standard Morse taper pen mandrel will work fine too. Now slide on the bushings in the blank, then bring up the tailstock with a revolving cone center for support. We'll start by roughing the blank to round using a spindle roughing gouge. Once the blank is roughed down, use a spindle gouge to turn the blank to your desired shape. I'll add a little bit of shape to this razor kit, but it's all up to your imagination. Once the blank is slightly larger than the bushings, I'll sand the acrylic blank through 600 grit with traditional sandpaper. Then I'll wet sand using microsurface pads through 12,000 grit to remove all the scratches. Now let's apply some plastic pen polish for a durable, glass-like finish. Carefully take the blank off the lathe then assemble it with the threaded end caps and rod. The assembly is easy because you don't have any parts to press in. Just simply thread it together until it's tight. Now attach a safety razor blade of your choice and this razor is ready to use. As for the stand, it turns and assembles the exact same way as the razor, so I've already turned it to match the safety razor. Now you have a handsome shaving kit that cuts as good as it looks. And don't worry, no beards were harmed in the making of this film. 
Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for the latest in wood turning. And if you'd like to learn more about our razor kits, click here.